guys so i've got a little haul for you today as i've been shopping recently also if you're wondering why i'm like in a scarf it's because it's really really cold in england at the moment as we're just like hitting like autumn winter time so yeah it's freezing and my room is like the coldest and also the darkest room in the house so yeah so the first things i'm going to show you that i got recently are from super drug and zoella brought out her beauty products uh, i think it was last monday you could buy them on the friday online but they actually came out in stores on the monday so i picked up a couple of bits from there the first thing i got was the zoella beauty makeup bag and it's just got her eyes on and a little zoella beauty label and that was eight pound eight pound yeah i think so i'll leave all the prices um in the description box and then the last thing i got from there was the zoella let's glow fragrance candle just a plain white candle and it smells so so nice so it just it just smells so sort of Christmassy and, and like girly so yeah go have a sniff of that um that was five pound i believe and then the last thing i got from Superdrug, which you might have seen in my previous video is the tanya burr lip gloss and this is in the shade chic it's just a really nice pinky peachy shade that was six pound i think six pound seven pound something like that this has become like my favourite lip gloss. Um, I love the applicator. It sort of glides along your lips as you apply it and it's like bendy. And it just smells of like them strawberry laces you get like in supermarkets. So yeah, I love that. Now if you've seen my previous videos, then you'll notice that I've dyed my hair. Um, it's like a dark purpley sort of colour as I wanted to go darker for sort of autumn winter. The blonde ombre on my hair was starting to look really dry and just horrible so um i picked up the pantene pro v dry oil with argan oil and this is a smooth and sleek formula um and this is just what it looks like and what i love about this is it just smells really nice and with argan oil and oils i just find them so sort of slippery and just horrible and the one I had before I noticed when I was like washing my hands afterwards I could still feel it but with this I wash my hands afterwards and then I just can't feel it at all so yeah um, this was around three or four pounds but, but it is a hundred milliliter bottle so yeah the next things I have to show you are from Mac I made a Mac order with Debenhams last week when they had 10% off all their um, beauty products and I ordered the Kinda Sexy Lipstick and the Amber Lights Eyeshadow as I'd heard so many good things about this eyeshadow um, a lot of people recommended it for blue eyes but I myself have green eyes and to be honest I just think that it does bring out the green in my eyes just as well as it brings out the blue in blue people's eyes so yeah this was like £9 I think with the discount and I'll just show you what it looks like The lipstick is a matte formula and it's just this dark brown sort of mid-tone nude colour and I absolutely love it. If you're going for that 90s Kylie Jenner sort of inspired lip then this would be great for you. Um, I have quite pale skin but when I apply this just with my um, usual skin tone or even if I am fake tanned then I just find that this is the perfect nude for me. I find Velvet Teddy a bit too dark for me but I think this is the perfect nude for my skin tone and that was about £13.75 or something like that with the discount. The next things from MAC are some eyelashes. And my favourite eyelashes at the moment are the MAC number 12s, so that's what I got. And um, I just got these from a normal MAC store, so they didn't have any discount or anything like that. So these are £10.50, and I know that is a lot for just some false eyelashes, but they are such good quality. And um, the previous pair I had that I bought on my birthday actually lasted me a month. That may not seem very hygienic, but it was great because <laughs> they're a lot of money such good quality they last so long and i couldn't recommend them anymore the last thing i picked up from mac was the mac relentlessly red lipstick that was a bit of a tongue twister this is in a retro matte formula and it's just this beautiful pinky red i'm not that confident in darker lipsticks but i've been trying to get into them more as i just 
I love them but I just sometimes don't like how they look on me so I've been trying to get a bit more confident wearing them I found the red lipsticks I owned were very dark on me so I wanted more of a sort of lighter red and this has like a pink undertone I noticed that the MAC Candy Yum Yum and other pink lipsticks from MAC and other brands suit me a lot better than an actual dark red so um, as I found that this had a pinky undertone I wanted to try this out and I absolutely love it um, this was £15, the full price of a MAC lipstick the next things I have to show you are very exciting Well. For me they are anyway, I don't know if they'll be exciting for you, but if you love baths then this will be. <laughs> and Lush have brought out their Halloween slash Christmas slash bonfire night inspired bath bombs and shower gels and all that kind of jazz. And all of it is in this massive Christmas Lush bag. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you what I got. So the first thing I got was this butter bear and it says a creamy vanilla scented bath bomb with cocoa butter to soften the skin drop into the water for a bear hug this was 195 and what you do is so like it says you just drop this into the water and it isn't really like a fun sort of bath bomb like there's no sort of a color to it i don't think but um it will just leave your skin feeling really smooth and soft and just like the other um bath sort of melts that they do it just smells of vanilla and like cocoa butter and they are my favorite scents of like all time so yeah i can't wait to try this the next thing i have is the luxury lush pud 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 yeah it says indulge yourself with this soothing bath bomb launch into your bath water and watch it fizz away to reveal the surprising the prison <laughs> the surprise hidden inside this is actually my favorite smell of all of the ones I bought I just I can't explain it but it's just you'll have to just go and smell it to see what I mean but it's just sort of so sweet but like I've got to stop smelling this because otherwise I just won't end up showing you the rest but um yeah I think this was the more expensive ones so like the three pound fifty mark the next thing I got from Lush was the candy mountain bubble bar it says make bath time an even sweeter treat with this bubble bar crumble under running water for mountains of glistening candy scented bubbles and this, they've done this last year as well this one I own the snow fairy um, bubble bath or shower gel whatever it is and it smells exactly the same as that how pretty it is it's like pink and white and I think this one was like two pounds something so not too pricey considering you can just use it as many times as you want you can with the other ones but just like be sure to like break them up and stuff so as it says this one you like crumble under the tap whereas the last one you can just throw into the water and not have to worry about clump clump cr crumbling it up <laughs> but yeah this one you just crumble in your hands under the tap and you're good to go the next one i have is the golden wonder bath bomb and it says run yourself the perfect temperature bath get in and then take a moment to let go of the world outside your bathroom before launching your ballistic into the water and watch it fizz away they had this in lush last year and i'm sure it was more expensive last year i'm sure it was like six pound but this year it's three pound 75 or 3.95 yeah something along those lines something along those lines I'll get out of the bag. <laughs> this is what it looks like it's just this massive golden present and the best thing of all it has a bell inside and it's just it's you can just see the colors running through it and this one smells of like sort of like citrusy oh i'm so happy i got this because last year i just didn't want to spend like how much it like was last year i'm sure it was i'm sure it was more expensive but um, oh, I just can't wait to use this one. I'm just so excited. Also with this one, I noticed a lot of people last year um, like breaking it up and using it like loads of times, like breaking loads of bits up and then just chucking them in at like different bath times. So yeah, oh my God, look at my hand. Let's not get that on my laptop. The last one I have to show you is the Sparkling Pumpkin Bubble Bar. And this is part of their Halloween collection. It says 
A warming and cheerful bubble bar to add sparkle to cold nights. Crumble the bubble bar under running water for lots of bubbles, I think that says. I can't see it's like rubbed off. This is what it looks like. And it's just this massive orange pumpkin with gold glitter on. And it's just got like some wood or it sort of looks like flake, like the chocolate, <laughs> like on the top. But yeah, um, this one sort of smells like golden wonder. It's sort of got like a citrusy scent. So I'm guessing this is going to leave me like smelling like an orange this was about three pound fifty i think but again you just crumble this one under the tap and you're good to go so that was the last thing that i got in lush okay and i've got a gold hand again the last place i went was clinton's and you're probably wondering why i'm showing you a clinton's bag i actually picked up a yankee candle and as you can probably tell, I love candles. I have a real obsession with candles and bath bombs. I love just getting in the bath and lighting a candle and throwing in a bath bomb. So yeah, I picked up a Halloween yank. My dog never stops barking, I swear. So I picked up a Halloween Yankee candle. I really wanted to try these last year, but I don't know, I just never got around to smelling them and all that sort of stuff so yeah this was 16.99 my nan thinks i'm mad for spending that much on a candle but hey ho it's just this orange candle and it's just got like a halloween sort of banner going around and it's in the scent candy corn and it just reminds me of like them halloween cakes sort of you get in like tesco and the different um what they called mini rolls and all that and just reminds me of like trick or treating like at halloween so yeah, I am in love with this. I can't wait to light this and get into a bath and throw in that pumpkin bath on. So yeah, I'm in love with this. So that's all of the stuff I bought recently. Don't forget to leave any video requests in the comments down below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And let me know what your favourite thing was in the comments below. Bye!